One of the strategies that we can use for SEO to increase our domain's authority uh, is the broken link strategy. In effect, what we want to do is get as many good domains linking to us as possible. Um, and one of the best ways to do that is to really go after these resource pages. Um, we want to find broken links wherever we can, of course. Uh, any of the popular websites uh, that are out there, if we can find broken links to them on those websites, we can potentially replace those broken links with our link. So this works by basically suggesting uh, to the owner of the website or whoever's running the website that they should replace the link with uh, similar content that you might have on your website. So of course we have to find the relevant content uh, that we, we could replace we can replace our content with and uh, you know this is kind of how the strategy is going to work uh, it does re involve a lot of bit of grunt work so to speak you have to get out there and really do a bunch of different searches um, but it's definitely well worth it so let's kind of see how this strategy will will play out um, let's just say for example we want to prospect for certain keywords uh, let's say here that I want to prospect for the the goal setting um, goal setting keyword and I want to link I want to look for URLs that have the word links in them and I'm also looking for goal setting in it as well so we can also change this to say resources instead of links um, Moz has a great uh, list of prospecting phrases uh, I'll include this as a resource as a download um, uh, after this uh, uh, video is complete so so this is kind of a great way these are this is one way that we can look for uh, intended uh, titles for you know resource and link pages now you know there's definitely a, a way that we can go through and scrape all the links and you know do some automated stuff to find out if those links are broken but Google really hates when you send automated queries to it in fact uh, if you'll recall from the webmaster guidelines Google specifically states do not send automated queries to Google so you could use this Moz toolbar which is a way to kind of do a bit of link an link analysis on the page um, but you could also just simply click on each of the pages so let's just say for example I did the search here for in title uh, colon links uh, goal setting in quotation marks after the fact so what I'm looking for here is are some resource pages now um, I did find a bunch of different listings here so um, we can take a look and see now the good thing about the the uh, the, the Moz toolbar is we can see the domain authority on these as well and uh, for some reason the domain authority isn't coming up so let's let's try to reload this one time okay here we go so we have a domain authority here this is this is the great thing about uh, this Moz toolbar now edu and .gov links are pretty good we want to have a healthy list of edu and .gov links coming back to us now let's just say I found a bunch of different uh, SERP listings here with goal setting resource links uh, I can click on one of them and I can go through and click on each one of these links and see if there's uh, an error that comes up. So if one of these has a 404 error, I can use the, the Moz toolbar to do a page analysis uh, to find some 404s. And uh, But I already went through and clicked these links. Now what I did find was, for example, here on the creating smart goals, uh, I went through and these links, these top two links work. So if we click on these top two links. Uh, these lead to sites that, that were creating smart goals uh, this one is goal setting guide and this one works so this is their goal setting guide and now this one the Northwestern University and the University of Victoria these seem to have a, a redirect so this goes to the Office of Human Resources which doesn't have anything to do with uh, smart goals so there's a redirect that's happening we're not ending up on the the perfects handbook uh, dot PDF uh, so we're just landing on some human resources page which doesn't really uh, offer us anything about smart goals so what we could do is prepare let's say for example uh, I have some similar content I have a uh, post here about setting smart goal smarter goals 
um, which is kind of relevant to uh, to that and you know could kind of be in line with what they are what they're asking for what they're looking for as far as something that's relevant there um, so what I did was I, I went ahead and prepared an email and uh, you know I'm basically saying hi there my name is Robert and I was just looking at your goal setting resources page on your website and notice you have a broken link and I provided the the the, the page the web page address uh, I state that the link is to Northwestern University under creating smart goals uh, leads to a redirect page which is no longer valid so this is where then I suggest uh, replacing that with one of my pages so this definitely uh, involves some grunt work uh, but but it won't take you you'll be surprised how quick you can get at this if you uh, start going through and do, doing some searches Moz has some great recommendations for for scraping software but again you have to kind of be careful um, you can do some link extraction uh, you can use webmaster toolkit iweb tool uh, code.google and you can do some 404 error checking uh, so I would recommend checking out this page for a bit more of an in-depth detail on this but um, so that's pretty much how the strategy works it's pretty straightforward uh, we can do any number of searches uh, using these uh, this, this is just uh, an example of some of the searches we can use to find relevant linking pages we're really going after these resource pages that have uh, some authority so for we want to see um, for example we want to see what you know what pages are going to have some authority so as you can see I did a few different searches here uh, now the this this one has really good domain authority has 74 domain authority and it has a page authority of 34 so so this is definitely a good link to have coming in now this might be a better one to to go after so we could do this one and this one has 40 inbound links to it so that's pretty good as well so we can we can try that we can try you know numerous different ones as you can see there's different levels of domain authority and page authority as we go uh, down this list but there's also another there's another broken link strategy that's pretty cool because it's from Wikipedia so this is a great strategy too because uh, what happens is when there's a dead link on Wikipedia uh, the editors actually indicate that it's a dead link um, you know normally it's it's kind of a pain as you can see is finding a broken link is kind of difficult you have to go through and do a bunch of different stuff but on Wikipedia uh, when an editor comes across a dead link um, they they don't they don't actually delete it right away so they put a footnote that says dead link um, this gives other editors a chance to confirm that it it's actually dead before removing it so to do this it's relatively simple all you have to do is search for and this is actually a great resource from Backlinko um, to search for you know site colon wikipedia.org uh, spacebar and then of course whatever your you know uh, your relevant content is it could be SEO it could be goal setting it could be resume writing it could be web design whatever uh, plus dead link as you see here um, and then you just go through and and click on the different links and you search that page for dead link so you can just do control F uh, command F on the Mac uh, and then search for dead link and then you find dead links um, but then back then but then um, Wikipedia also has a uh, uh, a list of dead link dead external links here as well so that could be pretty useful you can also use wiki grabber as I suggest here um, but once you actually find the dead link you know your goal is really to replace that dead link with your link um, you know getting a link from Wikipedia is pretty huge because Wikipedia has enormous authority um, but getting a link from there is, is is huge but it's also very difficult uh, you can use a system like Ahrefs or you can also use um, Moz Explorer to do a link analysis which is pretty great so you can find out you know more information about about that page um, and then you can see you know you can find out how many backlinks there are and how many referring domains are going to that to that page so that's excellent and then you can actually recommend uh, to have that to have that uh, link updated or changed um, and uh, and that's actually an awesome strategy because you know it, this doesn't take up a huge amount of your time but 
if you recall what we talked about with link juice, uh, this is pretty big because, you know, with that many backlinks and that many referring domains, you know, although there's a lot of link juice going out to other different pages, you know, because Wikipedia has such an enormous page authority and domain authority, um, you know, a link coming to you is pretty powerful.